Alrighty again, folks. Welcome back to some more songs and stories of the Old West. And today I'm going to talk about the cattle drive. So, when the branding of a rancher's cattle was completed, it was time for the two to four month trip north to Abilene and the railheads. Now, most drives consisted of from about 1,000 to 3,000 longhorns. More than that was just not really controllable, you see? Well, now a large drive would have a trail boss, a cook, a horse wrangler, and about 12 cowboys. And a typical day began at dawn with the cook hollering, come and get it, and clanging on that big old iron triangle, waking everybody up, you know. And, and the cowboys would crawl out of their bedrolls and pull on their boots, head over to the chuck wagon to gulp down some strong black coffee and have a bit of bacon or a biscuit or two. And uh, then they would head over to the remuda where all the horses were kept. That's what a remuda was. It was a place where all the horses were kept, you see. And uh, a large drive would have like 80 to 100 horses because each cowboy needed six to eight horses to ride every day. Uh, because, uh, you see, the horses got a break during the day. The cowboys didn't. They just kept riding all day, you see. So while the cowboys were saddling up, the cook would uh, wash the breakfast dishes and repack the chuck wagon with all the pots and pans and cruise bedrolls. And when everything was ready, the trail boss signaled to break camp, and the long line of men, horses, and cattle would head up the trail like a long, long, unending snake. And uh, you know what the cattle boss called out when he broke camp? He would call out this, Head them up, move them out. Hey, this is your chance to be trail boss for a day. Why did you shout that out? On three. I'll count three and we'll all shout it. One, two, three. Head them up, move them out. Keep rolling, 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 though the streams... I don't know where that came from, but well, anyway. So, the men and the longhorns plodded along for about three to four hours before making camp for lunch. Now, the men had to eat in two shifts because half the fellas had to watch the grazing cattle while the other fellas ate, and then they would switch off. And then they would begin the long, long trip, another three to four hours up the trail. And uh, it looks like I'm probably going to have to split this story into two because of uh, the way it is here. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little bit of a song. And when you come back, and when I get back, uh, we'll sing the rest. Uh, we'll tell you the rest of it. Maybe I'll just play a little guitar. See you soon.